One man is accused too. of attacking CTA passengers and an employee. His actions were caught on CTA surveillance cameras. CBS 2's Suzanne Lemigno joins us now from the Layton Criminal Courts building with a look at how Devontae Jones was brought into custody. Suzanne. Devontae Jones. You know, crisis responder Andrew Holmes says he not only witnessed Jones over the course of two days attack CTA customers, but he also says he called 911 to make sure Jones would be taken into custody. This is 28 year old. <laughs> Just wait till you hear him tell the story, man. Yeah, he looked like Tyrone Biggums, but worse. Coming to Lichtenstein. <laughs> he don't want to fail the, psych the psycho test, but. Oh, yeah. Someone gave him the answer. Yeah. From the doubt. <laughs> Custody. This is 28 year old Devante Jones. Prosecutors say Jones punched a 59 year old man in the face at this CTA train station here at Central and Lake on December 14th. Police say the man is a CTA employee. Prosecutors say he was putting money on his venture card at a kiosk when he was attacked. Can you imagine uh, just passengers and CTA workers getting hit in the face? Oh, yeah. Unexpected. I can imagine. And bleeding. Crisis responder Andrew Holmes says the CTA put out this alert with images of Jones taken from surveillance video. Holmes saw the flyer on December 18th and recognized Jones when he was about to board a train. So I called 911 and informed them that this individual was on the train and that he was wanted. Holmes says he followed Jones to Clark and Lake and witnessed Jones carry out the unimaginable. He stepped off the train, he sucker punched a senior right in the face. Unimaginable. There's no way we can imagine that. Very strange. It's unheard of. Yeah, it's it's truly will go down in the annals of history as a unique a situation. occurrence. But salute to this man for snitching. Oh yeah, yeah. this guy's a real one. This yeah. is job. He, he's out blood, there like yeah. Batman cleaning this up Chicago. Job. He's a crisis, whatever. That's what he do. Yeah. yeah. This individual was on the train and that he was wanted. Holmes says he followed Jones to Clark and Lake and witnessed Jones carry out the unimaginable. He stepped off the train, he sucker punched a senior right in the face and went downstairs and ran across another individual and sucker punched that individual in the face. Holmes <laughs> lost sight of Jones. He got away, but Holmes went back to Lake and Central on December 19th and so did Jones. So I informed 911 center that we needed a car or two over here. I contacted the uh, deputy Four, three. of Chicago Police Department. I was determined Department. not to let this guy get away again. So by that time, the officer pulled up, went inside a building that he went in, two more cars arrived, and they placed him into custody. I spoke to a man by phone who filed this misdemeanor complaint against Jones. Edward Boyce says Jones punched him in the face causing him to fall down a flight of stairs in June of this year. Boyce was delivering a pizza to this building on the 500 block of North Central. He told me over the phone, he should remain society. in jail for what he did to me. Tell me this though, um, how many seven men we got on the panel, man? Okay, it's pretty got... glidey right now. Do you think he would have, if he would have saw you, he think he would have punched you? Fucks no. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't, man. I'm not even trying to. I'm not trying to brag. It's nothing. I'm trying to act tough or nothing. Just it's just they don't do that to dudes like us. They pick on. Yeah. They know who to do that to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right? Ain't that right, Bronson? He probably he probably would have punched me, but I probably ate that punch, and then. <laughs> <laughs> then what? Yeah, then what? <laughs> you have to keep punching me. Nah, but I don't even think he punches a brown sugar. Taking on the nuts or what? I think yeah. he punches. I don't think he punches a brown because brown sugar. You you're pretty young, right? You're like thirty or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like you you look like you 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 look like he 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 wouldn't pick on he on they only do this to certain fifty people, up fifteen up yeah. And probably like um white. gliders, Asians, Spanish, yeah, um, like tigers, Patels, white. Patels, tigers, mm -hmm. anything like 
He punched a gang of tigers. And I'm Brito, and Britos too. It depends on like yeah, what class of Britos. Yeah, now if they yeah. young old Britos, hip hip young old Brito, he's not gonna do it. But if they're like the fucking fruit stand guy or some shit like that, or a senior oh, yeah. Brito, yeah, that's food. They, that's they food. Done. But um, but yeah, like he he'll punch an old black lady in the face. Yeah, but he ain't gonna punch nobody. Like that just look like they just yeah like this yeah, a challenge. He definitely ain't doing that shit with like me. he's not gonna he's not gonna punch a challenge. Nah, he ain't gonna yeah. punch a, a a a five five um sun team with that's hundred fifteen pounds if you got on some skinny jeans and a hoodie. Oh no! And that pool shiesty mask. <laughs> <laughs> I just love that. Every time he encountered this guy, he was out there assaulting the elderly in broad daylight at a train station. Every fucking time. Yeah. That shows you the, the, the how much he does it. Because if you see him, what's the odds of you seeing somebody twice and they be doing that just the two times? Oh, uh, shit. There go Devontae again. He'd be punching the elderly and, and you shit. You know what? It's a barbarian. It's certain places. Go shoot a basketball or something, man. Fuck. He will never punch this many people in Memphis. Nah, because you got nah. over, you got people got shit. killed. Like, <laughs> yeah. this second, <laughs> if he don't get killed, his mama or his sister, somebody dying. Well, they're open carrying yeah. in Memphis, right? Yeah, yeah. And New York, and New York, like any any train station, like in the East Coast, like they, I, I see and shit. Like they only bother like the weak, or like they never bother sun people. They, Fact, like they stay Daniel, away. From... And he had killed this dude. He'd be in the same fucking situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh shit. Yep. The weak, feeble, and elderly. You could have come off assaulting a thousand elderly people. It wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, they would have came up with a story to clean this guy up a little bit. Like, um, he he liked going to the park and um, watching the doves. <laughs> like they would have made up some kind of story but about him. He looked guilty. I don't know what he did. He looked guilty as fuck. <laughs> well, don't you, don't you peep, like, what they're trying to do, trying to say the crisis responder. You know, resolve the situation. They could have uh, got him that. murdered by the Good police call. because he was going around. You know, he did people. a lot more than most crisis responders do, though. But they yeah. didn't send him. He just happened. He to just be happened there. to be there. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't send him. <laughs> they, yeah, I know, but the the stories, the I guess to the like, way they're represented. Drive, yeah. yeah, to drive the point that hey, see, crisis responders are important people. You know, look. This is didn't all we know. need. By the police. You know, right when they um, apprehend did, them. Do the crisis responders have any kind of a uh, weapon on them, like a taser or a mace? Do they have anything? Doubtful. Nah, that guy. That guy probably just walks around with. They a got a book. Board. They tell them how to calm people down. That's it. <laughs> a handbook and shit. It, it would yep, help if they were handbook. all like That's it. fucking. Buffed out giant people. Some like, people for dummies. That'd be a good crisis responder, I guess. <laughs> Some people for dummies, man. 